part we're going to be have. And now we need to have this separate, separate two to three parts. Okay. You can imagine there will be a part, something matching to this. Then there will be another part matching to this. Okay. Ultimately, there will be another part you can find. So this is something like this is a part. So now what we require. So same thing will be happen in automotive as well. Okay. Suppose this will be a bumper. And this will be the bumper you can find. This will be headlamp. This will be some grill part. This will be another, we can say the basal kind of part. Okay. So these are nothing but the three part fitting into the bumper. Now you can check. Bumper having its own dimensions. Okay. You can find this will be the bumper overall dimension. Okay, so bumper having its own dimension, whatever it will be, 100 mm, 150 mm, okay. Then again, the headlamp also have its own dimension, okay, from this to this, as well as from here to here. And then again from here to here. Okay, so this dimension also has some tolerance value. Okay, so suppose here you can find so this headliner length will be something like 20 plus or minus 1. Then we have grill part. So that grill part is having something like okay, headliner should have more value somewhere like. Sixty. So this we can treat as a twenty plus or minus one mm. And again, this particular bezel, whatever we have, so that again going to be have somewhere like twenty plus or minus one mm. Okay. So now this bumper is also having some plus or minus one mm. So you can check now when we're going to be calculate this gap. Okay, so this gap value, what we can get this gap value is nothing but the total distance we have as a hundred. Then this x plus y plus z will be this total distance. So what is that x? Sixteen twenty plus twenty. So that count us to be something like 100 okay so this will also have 100 but you can find so there is a plus or minus 1 is going to be added okay so the 60 might be 60 59 point some 59 or 61 so that value will come out to be exceed over here and this also going to be exceed over here okay so for time sake you can consider this as a 10 so picture will be clear. You can consider this as a 10. So the value which come down to be this minus this will be this minus this will be 10 mm. But the 10 mm is not a fixed amount value we're going to be have. So that also have some plus or minus. Okay, so we can calculate that. So for that it is called as a Tolerance stack up, okay. The tolerance stack up concept will be include that gives this gap, okay. So that process we need to check separately. But you can imagine whenever someone is giving you the gap, so how it going to become? So it comes from this way. It will be include all the tolerances as well as this tolerance, and they're going to be add that values over here. And with respect to that, there will be a maximum as well as minimum gap will be received, okay. So ten is not the ten. It will be the variation of this all combination we're going to be get okay and that going to be add over here something plus or minus 2 mm plus or minus 3 mm okay so maximum gap will be 10 plus 3 
that will be 7 with this uh, plus extreme condition we can consider uh, that might be something like 13 or 14 okay so this is the tolerance stack of value we'll get so that with respect to we can say 10 plus or minus 3 mm we're going to be create that gap okay <music>